Hey guys, Yuli here, creator and founder of parttimebusinessbuilder.com, and I just kind of wanted to touch base with you really quick on one of the big takeaways I took away from uh, the Top Earners Academy from last weekend uh, in Orlando, Florida. And what it was is, and this was this was unintentional takeaway. Uh, I went there with a few intentions. One was to completely surround myself with people, like-minded people, you know, just really good people that are like-minded who are kind of the same focus as I have, the same intentions as I have, and kind of the same goal, vision, and uh, orientations I do in the marketing industry. And the second one was to get a better understanding of what the industry is up to. You know, uh, best, use pra- or, uh, best use practices and the new and upcoming things like in the marketing and social marketing and social media and stuff like that. And I definitely got both of those. They nailed it on both, uh, uh, on both accounts. But the one unintentional takeaway that I took away from it was a, a real eye-opener and a real just complete mind-blower for me. And it's I went there not knowing a single person. So, I mean, there was a couple hundred people there. There was some incredible people there. There were some great speakers. And just I met some really good friends there and uh, people who I intend to continue my relationship with and grow that relationship and eventually maybe form some business partnerships, some joint ventures and stuff like that and definitely see them at other other events. But the one thing that I wanted to touch base on is I went there obviously not knowing anybody and, 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 and nobody that I was going to meet, really unless they were following some of my videos and knew some of my stuff from Part-Time Business Builder, really had any uh, preconceived notions of who I was. So I could have been anybody, anybody in the world. I could have walked in there, suited up completely to the nines, taken a limo in and pretended I was some you know 10-figure earner or 8-figure earner or 7-figure earner, some big shot high roller i could have rolled in that way i could have rolled in other end of the spectrum i could have rolled in as some guy that just didn't know anything and just wanted to sit there and just listen and pay attention and and not intermix or, or not network with anybody so i could have been anybody i wanted to be um which is the case when you go to a lot of places that nobody knows you You can reinvent yourself at any point in time if you're going somewhere where nobody knows you you can completely reinvent yourself and be somebody else and then play it out however you want to play it out but the big takeaway that i got was I showed up, and I showed up as me. I showed up as myself. The whole weekend, I was exactly who I wanted to be was me. So, I mean, and that sounds a little odd. You might be like, well, that's what I would do too. But a lot of people don't want to be them. A lot of people aren't comfortable with themselves. They're not true to themselves, and they're not happy in their skin. It turns out I am very happy with who I am. It turns out that I was, I was more than, I guess, I was more than enthused to go in there and even though I could have been anybody else, and I know that might sound a little confusing, but I went in there completely as myself. And so all the people I met, all the networking I did, all the friends I met, all these future partners maybe and future joint venture partners that I might have uh, encountered, they were all attracted to me, which to me is huge because that not only justifies, but it validates the fact that I'm comfortable with who I am, I enjoy who I am. And people are attracted to that person based on my personality, my skills, my network, whatever it is, I came, I, I, I might have been the best version of myself, but I was still myself. And I started thinking like a couple of days before the event, I was like, I'm going to go in there and I've got to be at the top of my game. If I want to meet any of these uh, six, seven, eight, ten figure earners, I've got to go in there and just, just be the best me I can be. And when I finally got there, I thought, well, who will I be? And it turns out it was me. So my point is, uh, I'm not doing this to brag about how much I love myself. My point is, be comfortable with who you are. And if you're not comfortable with who you are, find out who you want to be and then become that person. And then get comfortable with that person. So be true to yourself. We had another webinar today with uh, one, of my, one of my mentors and, and one of his 10 lessons was be true to yourself. And that was a big takeaway from both of these things and it was validation because you have to be true to yourself because nothing else matters until you're comfortable with you. You can't offer any value to the rest of the world unless you're comfortable with yourself. So that's it. That's my big takeaway. That's my big tip. But it was an unintentional takeaway. And I just want you to know that by being true to yourself and, and becoming who you want to be or just being comfortable with that person who you are, until you get that down, until you figure that out, you're, you're not going to be able to, to, to give value to the world. And if you can't give value to the world... In return, you're not going to get that happiness and that inspiration and that joy and eventually that income that you're looking for. So you have to be able to give value in order to receive. And if you're not comfortable with yourself, 
and you're not comfortable with who you are, it's going to be hard for you to give value because you don't think that you have that value to give. So that's all I got. Thanks again, guys, for watching uh, this video. Again, Yuli, parttimebusinessbuilder.com. Sign up on our newsletter. Um, like this video. Share this video if you thought it offered any value. And just put it out there and just kind of see what's out there for you. So, all right, guys. I always have a problem closing videos. I don't know what it is. But that's it. That's all I got. So I hope that added a little value to your life. And you guys have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you really soon. See ya.